Hello and welcome to this iNav quick tip. Now this is for all of you that have been asking me since I started making these quick iNav 3.0 videos about why is it you haven't got the new plane icon in the configurator. Now I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Uh, I like you, I'm kind of finding my way with iNav. The documentation as I'm recording this hasn't really caught up. However, there does seem to be something that's causing this uh, and I've had it a couple of times so I thought I'd just share my experiences with you. So let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now in iNow 3.0 there is this new graphic which actually looks like a plane, well it's kind of a flying wing I guess. And it, it, There's a couple of these and it gives you a much better visual representation of how the model is moving on the desk. Get rid of that old clean flight box. If you actually look it has clean flight written on it, that's how long we've been having to live with the box. Now the issue is, is that uh, sometimes the configurator uh, and iNav can get a little bit confused and even though you have set everything up as a plane it appears to be working you still get the box in the configurator obviously you need to be making sure you're using the latest version of the configurator but what I found is if I start with a basic configuration and go right from first instances and do all the setup without loading any previous settings in diff all settings then it always tends to work however in the instances where I'm trying to be a bit of a smarty and I'm bringing in diff all stuff potentially things about accelerometer calibration or mixer setups it seems to get uh, sometimes very occasionally it seems to have this little bit of a problem the way to fix it that I found is just go to the mixer tab reload the mixer for the model type that you're looking at and reboot it and that seems to fix it for me here so that's my big tip if you have uh, a setup for iNav 3.0, you're setting up a fixed wing model, it is not showing you the nice graphical plane, go into the mixer tab, reload the mixer, uh, and then that should sort it out. Hopefully that helps those of you that are stuck. Again, fingers crossed, the documentation catches up soon. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.